What's this? Uh, what's up? This is about Jenny Buss, the Los Angeles Lakers owner, calling it fake news, calling pulling Trump, talking about, oh, it's fake that the Lakers suck and that LeBron James' is ego and Magic Johnson and Rob Palenko's oversized ego then then sank their team, and they look like they're not even going to make the playoffs. They're not even good enough to be AFC for all that foolery. How's she going to sit there and say this mess? There's self-inflicted pain here. First of all, you can't bring in LeBron James and let him play schoolyard and bring all his friends to come along. And then you turn around um, and act like, okay, then it doesn't go right. Because he always tells us a lie, like, I'm just going to play and all that. And then he gets him, then all of a sudden he gets to be in his bonnet too much. And I want to win. I want to trade half the team. You can't do that. The whole mess with Anthony Davis was a mess. It's backfired on Magic. It backfired on LeBron. You become. That's one of the reasons why cats are not going to come running. When Kevin Durant said that LeBron James was toxic, this is exactly what he meant. He ain't taking nothing away from the greatness of the man's play, but the situation, i.e. with Kyrie Irving, i.e. with Chris Bosh, i.e. now. You know, he runs people. He goes through people. He runs at coaches. It's like a diva. Got to have it my, 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 like he's Johnny Gill. Well, if you don't make the playoffs this year, LeBron James, you get a taste of your own medicine. You see, got to learn to play with what you got. Because you made it sound like, okay, I'm cool. I'm going to go into camp. Ain't nobody tell him to come into camp and bring Michael Beasley, who's now in China. No one told him to go get Rondo, who 10 years ago was one of the top two to three point guards in the league. He was in there with Deron Williams and Chris Paul, his peer core. But Rondo cannot shoot threes to save his life on a consistent basis. And his doesn't fit. He would have fit with Kobe. He doesn't fit with LeBron. It's just not working. There's a reason why Rondo, sadly, who looked like a camp surefire Hall of Famer, is like on the cusp of barely now because he didn't he didn't rock so many jerseys. It's not the same. Um, Lance Stevenson, the antics and stuff, he don't fit. You know, Lance got a little something left, but he don't fit. It, it's not fitting. Tyson Chandler, to me, was actually early on one of the first half MVPs of the team, even though he's you know, he's well past his t- time, but th- this game in time, he, a center is obsolete. And JaVale McGee, who could make the case, was a, a cold first half MVP. That he played great, but again, Zumba, Zumba was actually a better center, but they didn't know what to do with that. But they don't really have an agenda. They want to be stars. They're thinking, let's get this star treatment. Let's see what we got. But they don't have, they they are a mess. It's embarrassing. And so when Jenny Buss come out here and uses this, this, oh, it's fake. It's not fake. Your situation is fake. You got to have the right coach, the right ego, the right balance. Sorry, LeBron's getting old. That team is dysfunctional. And it's a reality show that not too many people are trying to see. Even Snoop is trying to give up his tickets. Right? Once it, you get beaten by the Phoenix Suns and you lose in the garbage. And you you get and you got to struggle against the Pelicans without Anthony Davis even playing a whole quarter. You're not worth the price of admission. And I said it before the season started. They were the third best team in the building behind the Sparks and the Clippers, and I ain't stutter. Third best basketball team. They got a lot of work. They should just go ahead and fold the tent. LeBron need to heal his body and get ready for next season because it ain't nothing coming out. And when you make the jump to go from the East, when you had the cushion to go to the West. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you're not, you're, that wasn't the smartest, wisest move, not from a basketball move, from a business b- mogul move, mogul. All right, that's my take on that. Jenny Buss is tripping. Feel free to leave them comments, hit that subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.